We got our first goose visitors of the year. The pigs are creating new places to get through the fence, especially where we tried to reuse it. So Derek's back there fixing that while I work on the farrowing pen because Lily is due at any time. I'm just putting up pieces of horse fence along the bottom so the baby piggies can't get out through the cattle panels. And now Derek is going to till in here and attempt to make it a little more level. When it got really muddy and they lived in here, they would just churn the mud with their big bodies. And we're trying to make it a little smoother for the next project that will be in the next video. And then, of course, all the baby pigs had to come check it out. Apparently, these four think it's great fun to pull off parts of the trampoline cover and chew on that. Whatever keeps them entertained. Lily is the one that's sitting over to the left, and she's the one we're expecting babies from at any point this month. That's Peppa back there. Lily is a Shelly Rex, and she is bred to Hagrid, who is a Snickers Pepper. I think she's getting tired of being pregnant. It's a good idea to burn your old hay bales after hay season because there's tons of grub worms under that hay and the wild pigs like to come and root it up and eat all those grub worms. So that's what we're doing here. It was a little windy that day, but all that green grass is going to prevent the fire from spreading. It's pretty soggy underneath that top layer that burned, but it smoldered for a while, so hopefully it took care of most of it. And then we got four inches of rain, but it's great for hay growth. We usually see these snakes after a big rain. They wait in pools of water for little fish that are swept out of the stock tank. They're plain-bellied water snakes. They're harmless to us. This turtle was a little confused on how to get out of the pig pens, but I moved him. So the pigs have all of this wash area, but it's good for them. They like mud, their pigs, and they have all this dry stuff up here. When we get a lot of rain like that, a lot of water will rush out of that stock tank into where the pigs used to live and creates like a little river. They can get all the way down to our last stock tank in the orchard, but Mm, they probably won't make it. Derek likes to save as many as of the baby crappie and bass and throw them back in the stock tanks. Hopefully they don't make the same mistake twice. While we're in here, the pigs have planted their own pumpkins in here, so we're letting them grow. They created their own food. On April 22nd, Frida finally went into labor. We were there for the whole thing and our neighbor was a little worried about her so we ended up moving her to the corrals to have her baby just in case she needed help. As soon as we moved her she had a healthy baby boy named Schroeder. You 
You can see his little tongue coming out. He was ready for some milk. He's about 40 minutes old here when he finally stood up. And you can see his mama helping him stabilize by putting her head under his neck. And yet still as a first time mom, she didn't know what he was trying to do here and didn't want him back where he was trying to go. At this point, I almost tied her up so that he could get that first drink of colostrum. It's really important they'll die without colostrum within the first few hours of birth. They both figured it out and she finally let him nurse. He needs that colostrum quickly so he can fight off bacteria that he runs into. In that colostrum is her antibodies that she's built up over time. And that's how he's able to get those. Well, Schroeder wasn't the only new cow in town. This is Blue Bonnet, or Bonnie as we call her. I know what you're probably thinking here, that we're hurting her. Yes, it hurts. After a while, they can't feel it, and we do put a spray on it afterwards. But this way, Without a doubt, she is my calf. I have the location of her brand, what the brand looks like, what color she is, how old she is, on paperwork, so I positively identify this calf with my paperwork that says that she's my calf. And right here we are at Oliver Longhorns. He's a local Longhorn breeder and he shows. He's very good at what he does. He got a little poop on him. And these are our friends from the army and their kids. We bought the calf off of them. As soon as we got home, she was moving from the trailer and Crockett was interested, as well as the other cows. We do now have 10 cows on this property, but we have plans to move some of them over to the mesquite. And those stripes down her shoulders is warmer that drip down her back. The baby goats are eight weeks old and completely weaned until I can't stand them screaming anymore and they get a little drink for mom, but we won't mention that. They've had all their shots and they should be free of coccidiosis by now. We were going to take them somewhere to find new homes this weekend, but it was supposed to rain, so I guess we keep them for another month. I put some turkey eggs and one chicken egg in the incubator. I want to see if our roosters are fertile yet and if maybe these turkey eggs are fertile this year. The turkey eggs are too heavy for the automatic turner so I have to turn them at least five times a day. Parts real short Shelly and Griffin. That's my shallots, white onions, yellow onions, and one garlic. I wanted to see what it looks like but this is just one row of onions from my garden. And the next day it was 80 degrees, so I decided to pull the rest of the garlic. I've also been getting quite a few strawberries and been keeping them to make ice cream. 